Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all feeling safe and well. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a Loewe bag reveal slash comparison. Now I ordered this same bag in two different colorways. The colors look quite similar, but the specs are quite different. But before I jump into this video, I'd like to introduce myself for those who are new. Hello, my name is Kim and I love to make videos on luxury bags, jewelry, fashion. If that's your cup of tea, I would love if you would join the family and subscribe and click on the notification bell so every single time I upload a new video, you don't miss out. So without Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Uh, I posted a pic on Instagram and I asked your opinion which one you guys prefer more. Uh, it was a 50-50. So the bag I'm talking about is the Loewe puzzle bag in either the soft caramel or the tan. One of the reasons why I returned my Fendi peekaboo that I ordered from 24S. I'll just give you a quick update on that bag. is because I thought it was quite heavy because I put my phone and just a card holder in. I just found it quite heavy. And so a few days ago, I went past the Fendi David Jones Boutique. I had a play with the pink one and also the classic black Nappa leather mini peekaboo. And when I compared both, wow, there was a huge weight difference. I've heard that the woven leather will slouch over time. If that tan color was in, let's say, a larger size, it would have been perfect. Another reason was because it was really badly aligned. It wasn't the way that it was stuffed or anything. I don't have any regrets in returning it, but even though I got like great discounts. Not only was it a wrong price, I got 10% cash back on my credit card. I got 10% credit back on 24S to use on something else. I got 6.5% cash back. So the bag came down to a little bit less than $5,000. It was about $4,935. Let's say it's $5,000. It was still a $5,000 Fendi bag. I'm going to share with you which websites that I got them from. One of the websites is Harrods. And then I also ordered one directly from the Wave. And it's great that, you know, I'm able to compare them and yeah, really get a grasp of which one I like more. So the first bag that I purchased came from Harrods. So when you open this up, it says Harrods. I didn't know if you had to pay duties and taxes on top. So after I made the purchase, that night I couldn't sleep. I read through like all of their frequently asked questions and it just was not clear. So the next day I called them and they confirmed that um, the price does include taxes and duties. So ooh, thank goodness. Also when it comes to purchasing anything from Harrods, there is always a $45 shipping fee via DHL Express. Now it doesn't matter if you spend 5,000 or 8,000, you're still always going to have to pay $45 shipping. <laughs> and that's very similar to Selfridges. Really nicely packaged and protected, thick bubble wrap. And then I've got my invoice on the bottom there. So when you open this up, the bag was in a plain white dust bag. And the bag that I got from Harrods is this one right here. So this one is the small puzzle bag in the gorgeous tan, smooth calfskin leather with silver hardware. It's got that white anagram stamped on one corner. It also comes with this swing tag. And then when I opened the bag up, this was exactly how it was packaged. So I packaged everything up again. So it came with the strap and then underneath the strap it's got the original dust bag it's a really nice thick dust bag all right now moving on to the bag that i purchased directly from the wave and it came in this small box right here and when you open the box came this little box here and it's got two little cards one is my receipt and then this is like a drawer box so when i opened this box up the bag was not in a dust bag now that bag that i got from loewe directly is the loewe puzzle bag in size small in the color soft caramel it's got the pebbled leather white contrast stitching in some places it's got the gold hardware <laughs> i love the gold hardware and it is just gorgeous. So when you open this bag up, the new small puzzle bags only have one pocket. They used to have a pocket on this side as well. And so they only have one pocket now. And also in this bag, they used to have like a little tab that had the serial number. So I was trying to look for it. I'm like, oh, I thought that was a bit weird. So it just has a little leather tab here that says Loewe made in Spain. In the pockets of both these bags comes with a little care instructions and that's about it same goes with this bag when you open it up you've just got one zip pocket no pocket on here either and then on the back here you've got the 
This is Loewe made in Spain. All the hardware is really nice quality. All the zipper pulls, they're just really nicely made. They're so lightweight, really, really lightweight. One thing that surprised me, I feel like the opening is quite small, but I feel like this is a quite a secure bag. I like that you can wear it top handle, on the shoulder, crook of the arm. It's a really nice versatile bag. And I love the color of the soft caramel. It's like a fresh, young, modern, tan color which would look great with a wardrobe that has the color schemes of like beige cream white khaki it's got a really nice summery fresh vibe to it and this color here is like an all-rounder Loewe makes one of the best tan colors out there on the market besides Hermes so this is a very similar color to the Hermes gold now let's talk about this bag here first this bag here is made pretty much with all one type of leather because you've got you know the leather on the handle is the same as the leather on these little zipper pulls it's the same leather all throughout whereas when you compare this bag there is contrasting leather the main part is all like this pebbled calfskin leather but then the zipper pull detail and the handle they're made from a different type of leather so when you compare the handles you can't really tell much of a difference i mean they feel very similar now when you look at the tan leather strap it is so soft and malleable this leather is so nice it's just beautiful okay so when you look at the soft caramel leather now I don't know if it's just this particular one but for those of you who have the soft caramel please let me know if you notice this as well the strap just feels like there is a paint coating or like a plastic coating on top it's just got so many wrinkles on it and you can just feel it when i run my hand through you can see so many wrinkles it's a very dry coated leather and over time i think that this will crack and peel on the underside it's okay it almost doesn't feel like it's leather i just feel like it's leather so both these bags are made out of calfskin this is a pebble calfskin this is a smooth calfskin there is a price difference of three hundred dollars this one retails for three thousand nine hundred fifty this one retails for three thousand six hundred and fifty because i was eyeing this bag off on my teresa when i noticed that loewe 24s and some other websites had a price increase and so i was eyeing this bag off for about four to five days i had it in my cart i was about to purchase it and then i said you know what i'm going to do a google search and when i did a google search i saw this one pop up on harrods and the price was really good too on harrods they had this at um 2850 and i searched harrods website i'm like oh well i have to pay 45 dollars shipping but then is there any taxes and duties on top maybe that's the tax-free price i was just reading the terms and conditions and like the frequently asked questions and i couldn't find an answer i was just kept thinking about it for about a day and then i kept going back to the my Teresa website and i'm like oh but if i purchase it from harrods and if, if i have to pay duties and taxes on top then it'll be work out the same as my Teresa anyway and i've never purchased from harrods before so i wasn't sure and harrods had you know 45 dollars shipping whereas my Teresa, if you spend over a certain amount then you get free shipping when i thought about it my Teresa doesn't do cash back and at the time harrods had 10 percent off so this one came at a really good price this one was 2850 10 percent off off plus a $45 shipping fee came down to 2610 and then Harrods has 2.5% cash back as well with shop back I saved an extra $50 on top of that as well so this one came out to be $2,560 which is such a great price because back in the day when I was about to purchase this bag on Essence in this colorway when it had the gold hardware at the time for about 2250 and a few years later i'm not paying that much more I'm probably paying 10 percent more of that price if i were to purchase from essence and at the time i wanted to purchase from essence because they were phasing out the one with the feet so there's quite a lot of commotion on youtube about them changing up the specs they took away the feet they took away the d-ring at the back and they made the shoulder strap like a thin shoulder strap instead of the one with that shoulder pad thing in the middle and yeah i just love how much more minimal this bag is because this bag is quite minimalistic as it is because it's like a no frills type of bag like if you know Loewe then you know what this bag is if you you've never heard of this bag then you'll just think it's like some sort of tan leather bag right but I've just been holding each one like with different outfits and seeing which one looks nicer both of them look beautiful but this one will work much more better in my wardrobe the silver hardware is okay with it because it's more of a casual bag so it doesn't need the gold hardware I love that this bag will slouch over time with use. I saw this bag back in 2014 when I was in Paris and this was when this bag was first released. You know, it was on Champs-Élysées on the strip 
and I walked past this store and I was like, Lo, Lo, what is it? I thought it was because in Australia we have a store called Lowe's and I thought that this this brand was like Lowe's. So I had no idea. I walked past the store. I saw this bag on display. So I walked past and I'm like, oh, what is that? That looks so nice. So I had a look at the price tag and the price tag blew me away. It was something like 1800 or 2000 euros for this bag and I was like whoa and this bag sort of stuck in my mind at first I was like oh it's very intriguing it's a very interesting bag to look at the first websites to stock this bag was Essence and Matches Fashion and Essence at the time had a really good price it was about 2550 and then sometimes they had like well, you know once in blue moon they had 10% off so this bag would come down to like 2250 and because I sat on it and I thought about it for a bit too long I missed out multiple times like it's been six years since this bag was released and I'm so glad that I was able to get this bag at the price I did especially in 2020 but yeah I'm just really happy and excited that I finally have this bag part of my collection and that this bag scratches my tan bag itch because it's such a gorgeous rich tan cognac color almost like an Hermes gold like I have more tan shoes that match this then I have tan shoes that match this one. And yeah, definitely Google search like particular bags if you want to purchase something because this one popped up suddenly out of nowhere on Google and the packaging is amazing, really well packaged. And I love items that are well packaged because it's taken care of. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stick around until next time. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I would love to know which one you would have gone for out of these two. Would you have gone for the smooth tan or the pebbled soft caramel? 